Hello and welcome and thank you for taking time to watch these videos. My name is Chris Bridge and I'm one of the deputy head teachers at the school. As a school, we are engaging with research to support the continued development of our work as teachers. We know that the greatest chance of success comes from working closely with families. The purpose of these videos is to share the information with you to support our work together. Each session listed has a video presentation to take you through the topic. This video covers the assessment and reporting, as well as providing some background to the GCSEs. The Maths and English videos will take you through an overview of the material that we teach, along with ways that you can support your child at home. This support will include using the departmental YouTube channels, and in the case of Maths, the A-Star Learning app. Mindset for Success looks at the importance of working hard, learning from mistakes, and how the way we speak and words we use can impact on our attitude to learning. The effective learning will cover how our memory works and what we can do to help us remember key information or core knowledge. Use of Google Classroom and Gmail, these are a series of videos which will show students how to access their Google Classroom accounts. It will also cover how to access the support material from your teachers or upload work once you have completed it. There is also a video which covers how students should access their Gmail account which they need to use on a regular basis. Sims Parents and Sims Student will take you through how to access information for your child or for your child to access their own information. This will include the rewards, the behaviour events, attendance, homework and reports. A few years ago, the GCSE qualifications underwent a review and the new GCSEs were introduced. Let's just start by looking at what these GCSEs are like. Overall, they are designed to be more demanding. There is an increase in challenge. There's an increased amount of knowledge within them. So the importance of learning core knowledge is absolutely crucial if you are going to be successful. All the exams are at the end of course, so at the end of the academic year. Uh, coursework has been reduced within subjects or in some cases removed completely. And the new grading system is a grade from nine, the highest grade down to a grade one. When compared to the old GCSEs, uh, a grade 7 plus is equivalent to an A or A star. A grade 5 has been identified as a good pass. And many colleges will set entry requirements around the grade 4 or 5 boundary. In 2019, the last year that we had our regular GCCs taking place, 21% of entries nationally achieved a grade 7 or higher to give you an indication of the level of performance. The next section looks at how we will share information with families. This table shows when information will be shared with you during the year. All the reports are made available via SIMS parent and SIMS student. Our parents' evenings will take place using an online platform as we found this has worked well in recent years. We will continue to work this way in the future. Further details to how to access the parents' evenings will be sent out nearer the time. What will each report contain? Working effectively, this reflects a, a student's progress. The criteria that we use for this are exceptionally, yes and not yet. It's based on a student's performance in a range of assessment activities, for example, homework, core knowledge quizzes and lesson activities. Barriers to Learning identifies any areas that a student needs to address in order to maintain or improve future learning. For example, organisation, behaviour, effort, confidence. Attainment, we only report attainment when we have confidence in the information that we are sharing. Attainment will therefore not be reported in autumn or spring as students are still uh, completing work and getting used to working with our teachers. It will be reported in the summer once students have completed the end of year exam. We will report your child's percentage success in these exams alongside the group average as a comparison. So this is what a report will look like for your child. Attendance, the expectation that we have is it should be above 95%. Any attendance below this can have an impact on a student's learning. At the top as well, we include achievements, which recognises the positive aspects for your child's learning. Any behaviour events, they're, they're reflecting the negative aspects. 
and both of these are shared live at the time they've been awarded by a SIMS parent and SIMS student. At the bottom of the reports, we have a report key, and this provides an explanation of the information contained in a report. Some subjects, drama, food, and DT, are, are taught on a rotation, and these will have a slightly different reporting schedule, and they will report working effectively and barriers to learning. So in terms of assessing um, year seven and eight, we plan to have exams for year seven and eight around the Easter holiday. A month before these exams, we will share revision material with students to help them prepare for the assessments that will take place. And the exams will have a focus on the recall of core knowledge, the application of core knowledge, and giving students an opportunity for extended writing activities. The results, the outcomes from these will be shared with families uh, in the summer report, as we've described earlier. Communication during your child's time with AHS is absolutely crucial. As you can see from the list, we use a wide range of methods to share information. Please sign up to as many of these channels as you can to ensure that that communication is, is being used and reaching you in the right way. Additional resources to support your child's learning can be accessed via the learning and subject tab on the school website. Many subjects are developing YouTube channels which contain videos to support your child's learning at home. These are a really helpful resource and I would highly recommend using these as much as possible. The image on the screen is showing you uh, aspects for maths. Maths also have the A-Star Learning website and they now have the A-Star Learning app. Again, incredibly useful and contain lots of help and guidance videos within them. Sim students and Sims parents is a, a crucial way for us to share information quickly so it's up to date and live. Um, we will conclude information around rewards and behaviours, attendance, homework with key dates and resources and activities that need to be done, and those report information at those points across a year. This outlines how we're planning to work closely with families and how best you can access the information to support your child at home. Core knowledge is going to underpin a student's learning in all subjects. They're going to need to work hard to learn this information and this knowledge. This can be done by repetition and deliberate practice. The other sessions as part of this event will provide further information to help strengthen our work together. I'm going to leave you with a quote from John Wooden. He was the most successful college basketball coach in America. I believe that his definition for success can be achieved by anyone. He said that success is a peace of mind, which is a direct result of the self-satisfaction in knowing you are, have made the effort to do the best you can to be the best you're capable of becoming. Everybody is capable of giving their best. Thank you again for your time and please take additional time to watch the other videos to support our work together.